Hi, we're Group 1. This is Assignment 2 for EDC 1200, and we've been asked to address the question, how might education mediate difference and dominance? The event that was chosen for analysis was the 1993 movie, Cool Runnings. The movie, based on real-life events, follows the story of four Jamaican track sprinters as they strive to qualify for the bobsled event in the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics. The team, led by their American coach, Herb Blitzer, had to overcome many trials in their home country, and especially at the Olympics, including lack of adequate training conditions, no budget, racism, prejudice, humiliation, and rejection. Failing to impress on their first run, they became the laughing stock of the Olympic community, embarrassing their country in the process. On their final run down the hill, the team was well inside world record time when their sled collapsed on the last turn. Even though they had bad crash, the Jamaicans were committed to finishing the race. They picked up their sled and walked across the finishing line with a roar of support from all unbelievers. Despite all obstacles, the team managed to prevail in their quest for achievement, as well as gaining the respect of their fellow athletes becoming equals. Cool Runnings exemplifies the issues of difference and dominance. Difference is not deficit and is constructed because of diverse locations along binary opposite axes of identity, such as race, class and gender. Society develops invisible norms from which it can measure people against, developing difference and marginalising groups. Difference and negative opinions of difference can be reduced by decreasing the distance between binary opposites. By shrinking the distance, people come to see the other as closer representations of themselves and as a result have an accepting attitude. In a socio-cultural context, tolerance is crucial in the development of a spirit of acceptance, not assimilation and integration. According to the American Heritage Dictionary, tolerance is the appreciation of diversity and the ability to live and let others live. It is the ability to exercise a fair and objective attitude towards those whose opinions, practices, religion, nationality, and so on, differ from one's own. William Udray presented his view on tolerance, which strongly links to cool runnings. Tolerance is not just agreeing with one another or remaining indifferent in the face of injustice, but rather showing respect for the essential humanity in every person. Often commented on space and place. Space and place are quite distinct from each other. We move through space, but we stop in and interact with places. While at home in Jamaica, the bobsled team was in their place, not just the space because they had attached meaning to it. They were proud of their national identity. During their time in Calgary, the Jamaican team saw the area around them as space. The Olympics only became a place to them when they felt wanted, when they felt like they belonged, and when they felt a sense of loyalty to that place. Practical and theoretical views will now, now be discussed. When teaching the positive idea that difference and dominance from the classroom, the movie Cool Runnings is a 98 minute long film that could be shown to a year 7 class over one or two lessons. The aim of this would be that the movie would demonstrate positive understandings of acceptance, difference and diversity. After the movie was shown, interactive classroom discussion could be initiated which achieves a deeper understanding of content. It helps students approach material from different perspectives and it can foster a sense of community. The teacher would ask the following questions. What was the main theme of the movie? What did you learn about the people in the movie? Why did the other teams dislike the Jamaicans? Were the Jamaicans treated fairly? How would you have treated the Jamaicans if you were in this situation? In the following lessons, drama could be incorporated so students can see situations from a marginalised point of view. With the dramatic place, students could be positioned as an immigrant child coming into an Australian classroom. They would see this through dramatisation that people need to be accepted if they are to feel good about themselves and have positive self-esteem. The movie shows many differences within their own country, critics of the Bolsler team, among other athletes, respected Bolsler nations, and among themselves, Yul Brenner and Junior. The character Yul Brenner states, We're different. People are afraid of what's different. The class could deepen their understanding of difference by specifically discussing these three differences. These groups could be formed so everybody has more of a chance to voice their opinions about the differences. At the conclusion of discussions, a brainstorming activity could be done on the board, with the teacher scaffolding their understandings and slowly directing them to the overall point 
that all of these differences were eventually accepted and embraced. For example, at home in Jamaica, the picture of the team was proudly hung on the sports hall for all to see. The Olympic community had Jamaican fever, and the other teams invited them to come back in four years' time, an ultimate gesture of acceptance. Finally, the teammates sorted out their personal differences and became great friends. Students would then have the general idea that once difference doesn't matter, everyone can be happy and productive. In regard to teaching children about various identity locations and senses of self, students would first have to learn the basics before it could be related to the movie. To do this, students could be asked a variety of age and context relevant questions to establish that everybody has different opinions and come from different backgrounds. For example, who is the best footy team? Is homework fair? Are we alone in the universe? From this, the axes of identity can be introduced and the concept of binary opposites and the acknowledgement that everyone is different and has an individual sense of self. Children can be taught that they don't need to adapt to what everyone sees as the normal. They can stay true to who they are, even if that is seen as being different. Austin, in 2011, in slides 14 and 15 of his presentation, suggests that this is different to the ideas of integration and assimilation that were demonstrated by the Australian government during much of the 20th century. One aim would be to teach the ideas of distance between binary axes. If the distance is increased, then so is the degree of dominance. This can be achieved by using physical locations to demonstrate distance. Distance between towns or cities or a poster map would be helpful in the classroom. This can then be related to the distance between opinions on topics. As Austin in 2011 in slide 6 states, the smaller the gap, the more integrated the endpoint becomes. Continu continuing on the same line of thought, tolerance can be explained and it can be brought back to who is the best footy team. Although footy teams are minor issues, Larger issues can be discussed from a solid date, such as environmental damage, logging and carbon emissions, animal cruelty, animal cruelty, and much more. Such discussions are true to become heated with differences of opinion. This is a perfect time to remind them of tolerance and the Jamaican bobsled team who had different opinions or different clothes that were bright coloured and had patterns and essentially had a different culture. In embracing tolerance, children would come to see people as unique. Everybody having their own skills and qualities. However, it is essential to not see some qualities as more important than others. As transformative educators, our job is to make students and ourselves, as the image of our modern suggests, as partners in learning to reevaluate past beliefs and experiences, which have been constructed through assumptions in the community and through the media. Using the movie, it can be displayed that the other bobsled teams were made to reevaluate their prior knowledge, Jamaica as a summer sports nation, and experiences. As a result, they came to see the Jamaicans as equal, as the same can be true within the classroom and the community if children question the commonly held beliefs of the community. Dana Gonzalez Mina and Dora Colita Tobison in 1999, paragraph 1, explain that positive difference and diversity work in classrooms can do for the community. They stated, building positive identities and respect for differences means weaving diversity into the fabric of children's everyday lives. Working with families and communities is an important first step in helping children assess, understand and buy their rich and varied wealth. One way of weaving diversity into a children's lives would be to go on excursions to different cultural sites and have experts or elders of that culture explain the significance and story behind the site. We think of the classrooms, the notion could be explored of what would have happened if the Jamaicans had been supported by the other teams from the start. Children could be asked to rewrite an alternative ending for part of the story with this in mind. Questions to raise the students' attention could include, would they have done better? Would they have got the same publicity? Would they not have been inspired to put in the effort and have a real good try? Finally, school runnings would support the children's growth in a world full of bias and discrimination. Encourage them to reach for their dreams and feel that whatever they want to accomplish in life is possible.